Hi guys and welcome to a new and very 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 sad episode, well video on Sonal's life and actually one that I didn't expect to, I was like, like there was no plans to do any videos like this week at all, luckily I straightened my hair so yeah. As you can tell by the video I woke up this morning so on January, what day is it today? 19th, the wrestling world woke up to the shocking news that Kazuchika Okada would be leaving New Japan when his contract finishes on January the 31st. Now obviously we're not just going to get to January 31st and Okada is going to cut off. So according to the New Japan site with some changes in the card, so um, he is going to have his final match on February the 11th in Osaka and the 23rd and 24th in Sapporo. So yeah before we have a look at those matches it's a bit of a shock there was obviously rumors going on before wrestle kingdom around the wake of like everything with osprey and generally just like a lot of new japan contracts coming up that okada was on the like cusp of leaving that other companies were interested in him and like it's okada that makes so much sense however when it was announced that Tanahashi had taken over as president of New Japan, everyone thought, isn't that a sus thing now? Tanahashi is going to make sure that Kazuchika Okada stays. Uh, yeah, we all just assumed that it was safe. There was no further conversations about it. No companies coming out like, we're interested in Kazuchika Okada. So yeah, it was a really shocking decision. There's not really much in the statement apart from like Okada thanking New Japan for the night, like I think is it 19 years he's been in the company? I've, no, I probably got that wrong. For the amount of time he's been in the company. And um, I guess the question is what's next? So I'm looking here at the cards. So on January 24th, Okada will have his last Korokun, ma Korokun Hall match. Sorry, it's early and this news is still a lot. So he's gonna have a match for the never open weight titles against TMDK's Shane Hayes, Mikey Nichols and Kosei Fujita. Now, I think this has been planned for a while. They've been setting it up even before the news about Okada. So I just assume that um, the Chaos and Hontai team will be dropping the belts. We then have February the 11th and that is a big match. So that will see the final chapter ever, I guess, of one of the most iconic rivalries in New Japan history and that is Kazuchika Okada will be facing Hiroshi Tanahashi. These two have so much of a history like dating back for, to Okada winning the title for the first time, the feud between the two of them coming together because of their hatred of Jay White and now being tag champions together. I think it's a fitting way like and a fitting final singles match and then um, he will be making his final dates on the 23rd, 24th of February at a new beginning in Sapporo. There is no real information about those matches and things, but yeah, it's a really sad and odd thing because I guess like guys like Naito and Tanahashi, Ishii, the, the New Japan dads, you just assume that Okada would always finish his career in New Japan and I guess in a way it's surprising but it's not surprising because I was reading online and it's true Okada has done everything he can in New Japan he is the top paid star he has won basically all the big championships he probably wanted to earn so I guess it's time to spread his wings it's surprising because it's very rare and we've seen it a few times but for um Japanese stars to go to leave their promotions and go somewhere which we assume is abroad we've seen it with Shinsuke I think he's the main one who is stuck at it along with a few female wrestlers and I guess with Okada the amount of pay he gets so he is by far the most paid highly paid New Japan star I guess we just assumed it'd be the rainmaker forever again I don't know who's more upset the New Japan fans are me or my mom when I messaged her to say that, she was like, oh no, what's going to happen to my Rainmaker? But I, when the rumours first came out, I'm going to state the same thing. This is not the end of pro wrestling. This is not the end of pro rest wrestling. This is not the end of New Japan. We have seen big stars leave before. Like I mentioned, Shinsuke Nakamura, The Elite, Jay White, Will Ospreay. There is always going to be <clears throat> people ready to take their spots, whether it's Gaikoku Jins, so foreigners, 
or Japanese. And we've really seen, especially with the new young lions and those coming into the dojo, a real emphasis on the homegrown talent. And again, I know that there is a lot of uncertainty with um, like the war dogs contracts and things. And there's always going to be uncertainty. But with New Japan being one of the biggest companies in the world, there are always going to be amazing wrestlers, whether it's homegrown and the new guys or big stars wanting to come and wrestle for the company. Now, oh, I love Kazuchika Okada so much. And until we know where he's going, I can't do that. Oh, Tony Khan hates me, blah, blah, blah. thing. Because again, there is no confirmation that Okada is going to AW. For a lot of people, they think that might even be the lowest option on his card. But I just want to say thank you to Kazuchika Okada for like everything he has done since before I started watching it, but mostly since I started in January 2018. The first um, show, well, the first wrestling show I went to see was a Rev Pro in New Japan show, and Okada was there. Now, I've not met him, but I remember walking up um, into the meet and greet section and seeing Okada and just his presence being something so amazing. And every time you just watch him, whether it's on TV or on live, like live events where he's in Royal Quest, I've always been in awe. Now, I guess the question is, could New Japan have done more? It's the case of like, there's always, you can always do more, but then when somebody's mind, and I know someone like Kazuchika Okada, when his mind is made up, there's probably no way of changing it, especially if it is, he's leaving because he wants new opportunities, because he thinks he's done everything in New Japan. Now, there is a lot of big stars ready to take his place at the top of the company. Um, we have the guys, so Zack Sabre Jr. I know you think they might be at the end of their careers, but we obviously still got guys like Naito, Hiroki Goto, Tanahashi, Yoshihashi, Ishii. Um, I'm going to miss a lot of people. We've got the Gaikoku Jins. We've got even like the junior heavyweights. Nobody has ever said that the top of the company has to be a heavyweight. We have guys like Hiromu, El Desperado, Master Wato, the four musketeers, all heavyweights, so Narita, Shota, Uemura, Suji. And I kind of think really for this, like Okada leaving to be really impactful, maybe having like Suji or Uemura going up against Okada in one of his final matches would be great. But yeah, it's a sad day. It's always sad when your favourites leave, and especially someone as big as Okada, but... That is professional wrestling, that is sports. People are always going to want to go and find different pastures, different opportunities. And the Rainmaker is the same. Now, yeah, this isn't a really long video. I just want, like, I found out this news about half an hour ago, so I wanted to give you my honest reactions. I am absolutely gutted, but I know that hopefully, well, I don't know, but I hope that wherever Okada goes, he is treated like the superstar he is. And I think most... I'm going to miss his interactions with Chaos because while not everyone is a fan of the faction, their friendship, I think, is the most underrated. So, yeah, that's the shocking news of today and probably one of the most shocking news New Japan has seen in years, probably since Shinsuke Nakamura left. So remember to let me know your comments in the comment section of YouTube, on social media at wrestling underscore chat. We've got the New Beginnings tour. It's going to be interesting to see how Okada works with that and the sentiment from the fans to him at these live events but yeah remember to hit like hit subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye